Hey everybody, it's Teresa again. I wanted to just give an update and kind of let you know something that happened to me. Um, first of all, um, I reached my 42 pound weight loss. I'm very, very excited about that. Actually, I've lost 42 pounds. So that was very, very exciting for me. Um, but I mentioned in the last video that I had increased my water intake and I started peeing a whole lot. Well, um, I had gotten a very bad muscle, uh, felt like a really bad pulled muscle in my left shoulder and it just, it's gone on for days and it just kind of radiated up my neck and up the back of my head. And it was so painful and I took muscle relaxers and some ibuprofen and it just wasn't touching it. And then after a couple days of that, I started getting um, some muscle cramping all over my legs. And then in my sleep, I was waking up with mu muscle cramping in my calves. And if any of you have had that, you know how painful that could be. So being on a low, very low carb and a very high protein diet um, and drinking the amount of water I was taking up kind of felt like maybe my electrolytes were off balance, particularly my potassium. Um, I am a registered nurse, so I kind of knew that was a possibility. And so I did decide that maybe I should go to the doctor about that. and. Um, my doctor's office didn't have an appointment, so I went to the urgent care and um, they drew some labs and they um, collected a urine specimen. Well, the urine specimen showed that I had 40 plus ketones. I tried to explain to the, um, it was a nurse practitioner that I saw, I told her that I was on a modified Atkins diet and that I expected to see a lot of ketones because of that diet plan, but she insisted that I go to the hospital and she even called and told me they were waiting on me. So I did go, I wasn't really happy about that. I was just really hoping she would write me a prescription for some potassium and give me uh, maybe a stronger muscle relaxer for my neck. So I ended up having to go to the emergency room and they just gave me a, some IV fluids and checked my lab work and it did show that I was um, a little low on potassium. They gave me a potassium tablet and they sent me home. So today I went to my regular doctor's office and he um, basically told me that probably because this um, muscle tightness wouldn't go away was probably because my potassium was low and it was making it a whole lot difficult, more difficult for that muscle to release on its own. So he wants me to take a potassium tablet every day for several days and he's going to repeat my lab work on Tuesday. Um, and he also gave me a much stronger muscle relaxer and he thinks that'll focus more on where my muscle spasms in my shoulder are occurring. And I took one of those muscle relaxers when I got home and whoa, that was pretty potent. And I can already tell it's starting to help. But I'm continuing my water intake. I'm not going to stop that. And I talked to him about the diet plan and he um, agreed that I should continue that because that's what's working for me. Um, course that's not necessarily what everybody else wants to do but that's working for me and that's what I want to continue of course at the emergency room they wanted me to drink orange juice with the potassium and they were telling me to eat some fruit and some bananas and things like that and um, I don't want to do that I don't want to sabotage what I'm doing and the doctor today told me as long as I'm taking the potassium tablets that I should be okay. So hopefully that'll resolve itself and everything. But I just wanted to tell you, if anybody's doing really high protein 
and they're drinking a lot of fluids, which you need to drink a lot of fluids because a lot of high protein can be rough on your kidneys anyway. But if you start noticing that you're having a lot of muscle cramps, then you may want to consider going into your doctor and at least getting your lab work checked and because they may want to consider giving you some potassium for a little bit. Also on top of that, I take a blood pressure medication that also contains a diuretic and that probably contributed to that as well. So as the weight continues to go off and my blood pressure continues to go down, I anticipate that they may end up changing my blood pressure medicine and taking the diuretic part out of that because with the diet and the water I feel like I am getting rid of rid of the fluids on my own so anyway I just really wanted to let you know that and just um, just wanted to let you warn you about that so you can be careful um, watch your body listen to it um, if you're having pain your body you have pain in your body and that's your body trying to tell you that there's something wrong so listen to that and be careful and I just wanted to share that with you and um, so just be careful